let's talk about how to record tutorials and all the animations that I do and how to make it all 4K because I have found the best software ever and I wanna show you how to use it. So in the past I used Screen Studio, which kind of does the same thing, but totally sucks at it. Like it auto tries to do the stuff, but it's only when you click the mouse, not when you're like looking at something, like it doesn't follow the mouse. So that was an issue and the layouts just weren't as nice. They were kind of ugly. So that was another issue. But the answer to all of those problems is Tela. So there aren't a lot of videos on this. And in fact, people just had videos where they're like, how to use Tela. And I was like, okay, well, I never watched those because I don't know what Tela is. I've never heard of it, but it's amazing. And I'm going to show you how to work, use that today, which today is Wednesday, which is why I am wearing pink because on Wednesdays, we wear pink around. There are two ways to go live, or not go live, to record on Tela. And the first one is over here on the Tela.tv website. Once you're logged in, you can just hit the record video over here on the top left. I never, ever do that. I always use the software that I've downloaded um, over here on my desktop. So I have, I have Tela somewhere, there it is. So I will just start the software over here and then once it's started over here, you can change the mic that you were going to use and you can also change the video. So I can change over to, now I'm using my, my webcam over here and over here at the bottom right, this is the screen. So it's gonna record both of these at the same time. So I can record my whole screen. I can record just one of the windows that I have open. And if I had a, like Final Cut Pro is open over here, that's a software. It could record just that software and not record anything else on your desktop too. So all of these things are things that you can do. And when you hit the record button over here, it'll do a countdown for you. It'll hear, you'll hear a tiny little pop. Maybe you couldn't hear it because I was talking. Um, and then it will just record. And then when you're done, you hit stop and it will automatically be saved. And if you want, if you hit preview, it'll take you over to the Tello website to that video you were just working on. So. So that is how you record. It's just that easy. So to do edits inside of Tela, when after you hit the preview button, it'll take you to whatever the last video is that you record. So over here on the right, it'll default you into layouts. So you can choose different layouts from over here. Um, I always end up choosing this layout anytime I'm doing a tutorial. And then when I'm just kind of talking to the camera, I'll do this one. You could zoom in on this seems like really intense to me, or you can sort of center. I don't know why you'd ever center yourself out like that. Um, I guess you could do this if you're like, just not sure how to do a vertical. Um, but I always do this one and this top one. Those are pretty much the only ones I use. Now inside of the main Tele app, if you go to my videos over here, you're gonna see all of the videos that you've recorded up until this day. That clearly is some kind of issue. I don't know, oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, what happened? So over here, you're gonna see all of your past things. Now, when you are done with stuff, I would highly recommend going over here and hitting the delete button. I don't know if there's a limit, I haven't reached it yet, but there's going to be a point where you're just gonna have too much stuff in here. Same thing with this one, I've already used that, um, edited that and it's done. So plus then I know like which ones I need to edit. Same thing over here, I've already done this one um, and posted it. So the rest of it, then I know I need to go in and edit. So let's say we wanna go in and edit this one. This was how to record 4K. Actually, you're not gonna do that because that will just play it. You're gonna hit the three dots at the top. You're gonna to go over here to edit. And then inside of edit, when you go to layout, you can change the layout. Now, if I wanna change the layout later, so let's say I start out all of my videos with just this full frame. And then after a while, I start talking about things that are on the screen. So I think it's maybe, the one minute mark, I start talking about things on the screen. What I'm gonna do over here at the bottom is I'm gonna hit add layout, and then you'll see the bottom bar changed, and then over here, I'm gonna change it to this. Now, it is not going to change right away. It's, if I hit play, you can you'll really see it does it. that like sort of animation. It does it very naturally, it looks great, and I don't have to worry about trying to like fit an animation in, it just does that. Now, the background over here, if we head over here to BG, 
which is background. I chose this mountainous one. I guess I could choose this one. Um, I've seen other people just use a plain color. Uh, I didn't really like that as much. I wanted kind of something going on in the background. Uh, you can also add your own image and just upload, you know, something that you have, maybe something that's branded, something that's just pretty fabulous at the top or visit my website or whatever you want. Um, I find that kind of obnoxious, but that's just me personally because I just, I don't like being sold to, um, so I don't put that. I just kind of put a plain, plain background. Now over here, if you want to zoom in, so let's say over here, I just want to zoom in on this, this one image. So I'm gonna go over here to zoom and I'm gonna click add zoom. And then you're gonna see this little box appear on the bottom. Now I'm gonna play any camera. I have to play like just a little bit of a second to like see the actual zoom because remember it does all the animations for you. And I really want to move that little target over here, but I really want that to take up the whole screen. So that's as big as it goes is 350. Um, so I'm going to take this and just kind of move it over here. So now it's kind of even with me, those A7, S3 settings, and it kind of fits exactly what I was saying on how to do that. So when I am done with this, so we'll just kind of let this, this play. This is an e-camera. I'm talking about this. And then when I start talking about something new, I might want to switch over to, let's say, a different frame. So have I... I still haven't changed topics. Okay, now I finally changed topics. So over here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click add zoom again. So you know, so you're telling the software, this is where I want you to add the zoom. And remember you have to play it for just a, a tiny cake. second. Now it's gonna zoom in. I just wanted to zoom in on this one video. So same thing again, I'm going to go all max speed or max speed, max zoom. And then I'm just gonna pull this up over here so you can see the video that I'm referring to. I can move this down. Wherever you move this inside of that little box timeline, it will stay like that for the whole time. Capture card. If you want you to move have to it to another part, you'll actually have to shorten this down and then you'll have to add another zoom if you want to move it around to a different part. From so over here, if I wanna move it say to the top, then I could make this bigger and I can move this over here. So it's that's how you add different zooms. Um, same thing whenever you do layouts, this is really important. So sometimes when I get here, I'm like, oh, I just need to switch right away back to this other layout. And then it's ruined everything from that point because you need to, what I should have done instead is I should have left it like this and I should have clicked the button called add layout. So then it knows to add a new layout from that point forward. Those are pretty much the only things I use as layout and zoom. There is a trim button. So trim works, Eh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of, I don't know why, it's a little clunky. So what I do is I always export this file. Over here you can go to download and then I always choose 4K because I like things in 4K. I don't know why, 60 frames per second, never, oh, there, I know why now because I didn't upgrade to the next level. Um, so I just upgrade mine, I, I just do mine 4K, export 30 frames per second. And then once I have that export, I will actually open this inside of Final Cut Pro and then do my trim, my cut edits there, only because sometimes I notice that the software, the Tele software lags uh, anytime I'm trying to do the trim. I'm not sure why, maybe because it's web-based. I've written to them about it, they can't figure it out. And everyone says, and this happens a lot with software, they'll just be like, can you replicate it? I can't replicate an error. Um, I've never used border. So over here at border, you can change that zoom, uh, well, I guess your picture over here. So it is going to have these different shadows. They seemed a little cheesy to me, so I've just never done them. Um, if you like them, you could try that. Um, but I use the no border. Uh, over here, subs, subtitles. I've never used subtitles because YouTube now does all the subtitles automatically for you. You don't have to worry about that. Um, mirror, I guess you can mirror it so your um, so your face is the other way, but I always look kind of weird when I'm mirrored, so I never do that. Um, I guess that would work if you recorded something backwards. I don't know. I don't know, I, honestly, any occasion you'd ever use mirror. Um, crop, you could crop in. So if you didn't want to show everything on that Zoom, you could crop in to say, just showing this and this. I never crop in only because, um, why don't I crop in? I guess because I feel like I'm, it seems like someone's trying to hide something. So I never want to try to hide something. Um, I just kind of show my whole desktop. I don't know. That could be like over, 
over sharing, but that's kind of what I do. Plus, honestly, the crop is a pain and I just don't do it. Over here, redo, re-record. You could just re-record something, like say you didn't really like that clip. Um, but that is pretty much how to use Tella. Um, never, ever, ever, ever under any circumstances use the share button. This made kind of like, you know how Loom, you can just share things on, uh, it's like housed on Tella. I think this is an awful idea. I've tried using it in the past. It just kind of locks the software and then it does nothing. And then that file eventually just, I don't know, it comes corrupted, but you can never, ever, ever go back and edit this file, the original source file, if you hit the share button. So never, ever do that. So Anyways, I hope that was useful in helping you to learn Tella and let me know if you have any questions below. All right, bye everyone.